My name is Rubina Raja. And I'm Søren Sindbæk. And we are the founding editors of the Journal of Urban Archaeology. We would have liked to be with you in person to present this new journal, but due to the travel restrictions and um, lockdowns uh, this year, we can't be with you. So here we are virtually launching this new journal. And Rubina, what is the Journal of Urban Archaeology? The well, Journal of Urban Archaeology is a new, exciting journal that focuses exclusively on urban archaeology, urban societies on a millennia long scale and with a global focus as well. We'll be covering exciting themes in the volumes to come on a range of urban archaeology topics. And we're looking very much forward to going on this journey with all our colleagues worldwide. But Søren, do you remember why it was that we wanted to found this journal? I do. Uh, we were, we've been working on this theme obviously for years and we found it was actually curious. A lot of people around the world identify what they do professionally as urban archaeology. And yet there is no common forum for people to share experiences across the world. Everything has taken place regionally uh, within journals or in very general archaeology uh, journals. So we wanted to make this forum where we can debate the spot problems and uh, agendas that are specific to urban archaeology. And this is what this journal will be. So uh, we have the first volume out now. And Rubina, what is it? What have we come to? The first volume we've called an agenda volume. So it's a volume that really broadly covers different topics, again, on a global scale with um, leading urban archaeologists who we've brought into dialogue with each other, um, thematically focusing on a range of different urban sites and urban sites of different periods. So we range from um, the Far East over the Mediterranean to Northern Europe um, in order to get a broad range of perspectives on urban archaeology. So on the one hand, it's both um, foci on high definition archaeology, on what's going on in the field and how that brings new perspectives on how we do urban archaeology, but we also have theoretical papers that deal with sizes and scalings of urban society over time. And the rest is really for you to discover. So uh, please enjoy the journal. We're happy to have you as readers and we would be happy to welcome you as contributors to the Journal of Urban Archaeology. Hello, my name is Paul Johnson and along with my colleague Sam Turner, I'm the general editor for the series The Archaeology of Northern Europe, which uh, we set up with Brepols probably about two years ago now. And when we did so, what we really wanted to do was to create a venue for the publication of data-driven archaeological research. Um, and we wanted to set ourselves a fairly broad chronological framework for this, not to fall into artificial divisions within periodization. So um, we set the series, the aim of, of encompassing everything ranging from deep prehistory um, all the way through to the early modern period. Um, we also wanted to take a fairly broad geographical range of material. Um, so the series um, accepts contributions that deal with, um, deal with uh, regions from the Baltic Sea and the countries surrounding it through North Central Europe um, to the Atlantic seaboard and uh, also encompassing the British Isles um, there as well. And um, this is sort of borne out the, uh, the, the volumes that we have, some of the volumes that we have in production at the moment uh, deal with uh, Scandinavian Bronze Age, for example. Um, and we've also got uh, another, uh, actually a set of volumes which will be uh, looking at uh, the, the early medieval economy, culture, society and um, impact on the landscape of uh, the mercantile cities of the Low Countries, um, so Netherlands and Belgium. 
um, largely in Flanders. Um, so I think um, really all I have to say is that uh, if this sounds like something that you might be interested in uh, in terms of the subject matter and something to read, please keep an eye out uh, for the volumes as they come out. So it's still quite a new series, so we haven't actually um, haven't actually got anything as far as I'm aware that's reached press yet. Um, or equally, if uh, if this sounds like somewhere that you might be thinking of as a venue for publishing any of your own research, then uh, please do get in touch and um, and we'll see what we can do. I'm Lynn Foxhall from the University of Liverpool, and I want to tell you about a new book series that my friend and colleague Peter van Dammel from Brown University and I are leading called The Archaeology of the Mediterranean World. The Mediterranean Basin is a region of paradoxes. Whether we think of it as a region with a sea in the middle or a landmass with a coastal fringe, it has always been an area of cross-cultural interactions and encounters of many kinds. Lands, peoples, and societies were bound together by maritime and overland connections, borrowing and sharing many practices and customs, but simultaneously maintaining distinctive identities and cultures. Interaction fostered conflict, warfare, and religious rivalries, as well as exceptional cultural fluorescence. This series focuses on the archaeology and cognate disciplines of the countries encircling the Mediterranean Sea, from Morocco and Spain in the west to the Levant, and covers a broad time span from prehistory to early modern periods. It aims to offer unique insights into developments around the Mediterranean and the changing and creative nature of cultural contacts and interactions over time. We welcome monographs and edited collections from a broad range of archaeological disciplines. Though Mediterranean focused, we envisage a broad geographical scope. We welcome multidisciplinary studies with a strong archaeological component, as well as books which cross cut traditional periods, regions, and themes in novel and imaginative ways, and those which cover long time spans. Our editorial board includes scholars covering a wide range of periods, regions, cultures, and expertise. If you decide to publish with us, you'll benefit from our experience and that of our editorial board. All submissions taken forward will be double-blind peer-reviewed by external specialist readers. You can find information about the archaeology of the Mediterranean world here. If you have an idea for an exciting monograph or edited collection in the broad field of Mediterranean archaeology, we look forward to hearing from you. My name is Tringe Arlund Hess. I'm a classical philologist working at Aarhus University and the Danish Academy in Rome. My name is Rubina Raja and I'm a classical archaeologist based at Aarhus University in Denmark. We founded the series Rome Studies together because we wanted to create an outlet for research that takes Rome as its point of departure. Rome Studies is covering a broad uh, chronological span from about 2000 BC until the modern day. It's an interdisciplinary series in its DNA. We are from different disciplines and we have um, we are collaborating with historians, art historians, and welcome contributions uh, from all disciplines that deal with Rome. Rubina, will you say something about the background for the series? We've been working with interdisciplinary research for many years, um, also focusing on Rome, but we were missing a research outlet where the newest research within different disciplines actually found a way to be published. So that's the background for the Rome studies. And for now, we have a few volumes on the way, one on Caesar and the reception of Caesar and his after life, so to say, the man who changed the Roman Empire that covers broadly different themes. We think this is going to be a very strong volume. We have volumes on ceramic studies from Rome over millennia and 
volumes on architecture and historical sources. So it's a series that tried to cover a broad and large amount of themes, but focused exclusively around Rome and its history. Mm. Yeah, we welcome contributions uh, that will uh, sort of capture new research ideas as well as focused uh, empirically uh, data heavy studies. And we look very much forward to reading any proposals you might have for monographs as well as edited volumes. Good afternoon. My name is Andrea De Giorgi, and I am Associate Professor of Classical Studies at the Florida State University. I have some very, very exciting news that I would like to share with all of you scholars in the Brepols community at large. My colleague Gunnar Brands and I have officially inaugurated the Antiochian Studies book series. Now, there is no need to emphasize the importance of and political centrality of Antioch in ancient times from the Seleucid epoch down to the Ottoman era. The current flurry of research on this remarkable city and its culture attests to the fact that, that Antioch's past still needs to be taken up and brought into sharper focus. In that vein, we offer a, a new portal um, that we hope will usher in uh, new stories and analysis on Antioch, whether it's material culture, uh, religion, politics, or society in general, um, from classical antiquity to contemporary Antakya. Gunnar Brands and I, however, are not alone in this endeavor. We are supported by an editorial board of the highest scholarly stature uh, with much experience on uh, Antioch history and arts. And what to make of the Rebels team of designers, editors, artists, and marketing people who will transform your manuscript into the Antioch book that you had envisioned? Rosie Bonte, Rebels publishing manager, will make the whole process effortless. In sum, we are absolutely thrilled to share this piece of information and hope to hear back from you. Whether your book project on Antioch needs a home or is still in its infancy, do not hesitate to reach out to us. We and the other members of the board will be delighted to review your submission or simply discuss a, a potential new project. Our email addresses are below here on the screen. And again, we'll look forward to receiving your manuscripts. Uh, be well, stay healthy, and I hope to hear back from you soon. Thank you. Hello, my name is Rosie Bonte and I'm a publishing manager at Brepold and I have responsibility for most of our series in archaeology. As the EAA isn't able to take place in person this year, sadly, um, I just wanted to use this video as a chance to introduce myself, say hello to you and tell you a little bit more about Brepold. So Brepold is a very well established publisher with a strong background in history. And in recent years, we've been really trying to expand our archaeology sector as well. So to that end, we've set up a lot of exciting new series. Um, all of our series, we work very closely with editorial boards who are experts in their field. Um, all of the books that we produce are rigorously peer-reviewed, carefully copy-edited and professionally typeset. So our aim is to produce really good groundbreaking research in archaeology that will be acknowledged by your peers as a, a hallmark in quality. So in terms of the new series that we've set up recently, I just wanted to give a quick overview of those and tell you a bit more about the different series that we've got. And um, I would warmly welcome proposals for both edited collections and monographs for any of these series. So please do get in touch if you think that any of these might be of interest to you. 
So in terms of the new series that we've set up, we've in recent years, we've got the archaeology of Northern Europe, which focuses on really the land encircling the North Sea and up into the Baltic. We have the archaeology of the Mediterranean world, which um, focuses on the archaeology and cognate disciplines of the countries encircling the Mediterranean. We are proud to launch at this EAA the new Journal of Urban Archaeology, which is the first dedicated scholarly journal to recognise urban archaeology as a field in its own right. We have um, the series New Approaches in Archaeology, which is intended to promote the publication of thematically focused material that can explore topics or areas from a whole range of different angles and it's all about um, promoting sort of rigorous cutting edge and often data rich material. We have studies in the archaeology of the Islamic world which provides a forum for exploring the um, archaeology and material culture of um, Islamic countries and countries that came under Islamic rule, covering everywhere from Iberia through to Eastern Europe, the Middle East, and into Central Asia. Um, and we also have some more established series. So, for example, we have Contextualizing the Sacred, which ex examines sacred space through its material and textual culture. We have Studies in Classical Archaeology, which provides in depth research into all aspects of material culture relating to the classical world. Alongside these sort of quite broad series, we have some more site specific series, but again, we're always interested in research that might be related to these areas. So, for example, we have the Gerash Papers, which is a, a series that's already running that promotes, that publishes all of the archaeology from Gerash. Um, and we've also recently established Antioch Studies, which is going to do something similar, it's going to be producing all of the archaeology to have come out of Gerash in recent years. Um, and we have Rome Studies, which is an interdisciplinary series that focuses on the archaeology, history and literature of Rome. And we have studies in Palmyran archaeology and history. So if you think that any of your any of your research might fit into this into these series and you'd like to find out a bit more, please do get in touch. It would be a pleasure to hear from you. Thank you very much.